Hey everybody, what is going on? This is Anthony with the VR Game Rankings YouTube channel, and this is a video that is 100% dedicated to a new game that just released today. Today is May 1st, and Beat Saber is available today. You can pick it up for $19.99 on Steam. I believe it's on Oculus Store for $19.99 as well. Not available for PlayStation VR yet. Hopefully it will be coming to PlayStation VR in the not so distant future. And basically, this is the game I've been talking about. This is a game that I've been playing. I haven't been able to talk about this game. And I was kind of thinking, well, how am I going to actually discuss Beat Saber? Like, what way am I going to go through this? What's the best way to do it? And so I thought what I'll do is I'll kind of give you guys a chronological breakdown of getting my hands on the game and just kind of my experiences with the game a step by step, you know, as when I first got the game and, and my first impressions of it, it's kind of been a little bit of a roller coaster ride in terms of my my feelings about the game have have changed a little bit and kind of bounced around a little bit. So I thought I'd kind of do a, a chronological type breakdown on this. So basically, this goes back a week ago to last Tuesday, I believe it was April twenty fourth. I received an email from Hyperbolic Magnetism, which is the developer of the game. And Hyperbolic Magnetism is basically two people. It's basically two guys from the Czech Republic. You have Jan Lava Lavsky. I I'm probably mispronouncing that, otherwise known as Split. And then you have Vladimir Hrinkar, otherwise known as Loki Man. So you got Loki Man and Split. These two guys have been making games for a long time. They've been good friends and they've worked together in the Czech Republic. I think they met up in high school and they worked on a lot of games uh, way back in the days, many of which have never seen the light of day. And then kind of when Apple got going with the app, with the app store, these guys kind of made some hay as far as making lots of little app games and they've kind of been successful with that and then beat saber this is their first big vr game as far as i'm aware and of course it does feature the music of jaroslav beck otherwise known as jerry beck the primary guy that is delivering the music tracks. I believe there's a grand total of 10 different tracks that are in the game. Um, I think all of them are by Jaroslav Beck, with some of them will feature some guest appearances from some other people that are featured in it, but it's pretty much this one guy. And so this was a week ago, April 24th, Tuesday, I get an email from Hyperbolic Magnetism and it says, hey, we really liked that video that you did a while back uh, about Beat Saber. We saw that video. We thought it was really cool. And here's a key to our game. But but be aware, this is embargoed until May 1st at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So you can't really say anything about this game to anybody, you know, yada, yada, yada. And so I get this email and I'm like, oh, man, this is so freaking cool. Beat Saber. This game looks so damn awesome. And so it was a blessing for me to get a game review code from them and for them to send me that review code. That was really huge. And so what I did was I obviously immediately popped that into Steam and started downloading the game. And then basically I got into the game for the very first time. And the first, you know, I, I, I get into the game for the very first time. And the first song that I put on was a song called Escape, which is featuring Summer Haze. And if you've guys seen, you've seen the mixed reality videos, I'm, sh I'm sure you've seen a lot of the mixed reality videos, incredibly popular, probably did hyperbolic magnetism an incredible favor. These mixed reality videos really help sell the game. And one of the things that I said about this game a long time ago, when, when I first saw these mixed reality videos and when I first became exposed to Beat Saber, I wasn't really aware of Beat Saber. I was kind of late to the party actually. But the thing that I said about it way back then is I basically said, if this game is half as fun as these mixed reality videos make it seem, this game is going to be a smash hit. This is going to be awesome if it's half as fun as these videos make it seem. 
you know? And so um, my favorite, like, uh, you know, I, I saw the different videos and I think there's like three different songs that have been kind of featured in these different mixed reality videos. And my favorite one is this song, Escape, featuring Summer Hayes. And, you know, I don't know what it is about this song, but for some reason it just like, it just hit me in a certain way. I just, I like this song. I enjoy this song. Watched all the the mixed reality videos. The other song that was featured, I believe, is $100 Bills. And then you have a song that is called Beat Saber. And, and those were like the three major ones that you saw in all these mixed reality videos. But it was Escape. That's the one that really, like, I like that song. I just, you know, never heard that song before. Saw the mixed reality videos. And I'm like, oh, man, I really like this song. This song is cool. Something about this song just does it for me. And so... I get into Beat Saber for the very first time, and obviously I'm going to start off with that song. That's the song that I know better than any of the other songs, and so I figure I'll go ahead and start off with this. And I put it on normal difficulty because I'm not really a rhythm action guy. I've hardly played any rhythm action games, to be honest. I'll talk about more, more about that in just a little bit, but... I thought, well, let me put it on normal and let me try this song Escape because I'm familiar with this. And so I start playing the game and as I'm playing it, I'm just overwhelmed. You know, I, I just got overwhelmed with emotion playing this game. And I know I know there's going to be some people out there that are going to be like, Anthony, hand over your man card, bro, <laughs> because... I have to admit, I tweeted out about this. I actually like literally teared up the very first time I played Beat Saber. I literally teared up. Not only did I tear up, I mean, there was straight up waterworks. I literally cried the very first time I played Beat Saber. And it wasn't like I was crying, like, like crying, you know, it was, it was just, I was, I was just in the, the moment and I was just experiencing it. And I just couldn't help it. Freaking tears started coming out of one of my eye. Really, you know, straight tears coming down. And, um, but tears of joy, basically. You know, the, the best way that I can describe it is I know you guys have seen a certain TV show or a certain movie or a certain song or a certain music video where you're watching it and it just hits you. It just hits you in a certain way and, and you kind of get like goosebumps, you know, you kind of get this like electricity feeling that kind of goes up and down your arms or whatever. You know, you might be watching like a brand new Star Wars movie or something where they did something really good, you know, like one particular part of the movie where it was like, oh, fuck, they really they really killed it with that. Or, or like Ready Player One is a great example. You know, you might be watching ready player one and there's good parts of the movie there's bad parts of the movie but there was probably one little part of the movie that just freaking gave you chills and it just sent sent that like goosebump shiver thing down your spine where you get like this burst of like electricity and it's just like man it really what it is is you're recognizing the fact that whoever created this fucking killed it they absolutely killed it they nailed it it's like it's like Babe Ruth, man. It's like Babe Ruth pointing to a very specific part of the stadium and then that pitch comes and then freaking bam and, and knocks it out of the park in the exact spot he pointed it to. And I know you guys have felt that about some type of artwork that you've seen, um, a music video, a song, um, a TV show, a movie, a video game, you know, there probably all of the above really a book that you read or some speech that somebody was giving where something just hit you man and it hit you really hard and that's what it was like that very first time I was in Beat Saber and I was playing that game Escape I mean I was playing the song Escape and I was going through you know doing all the freaking movements and all that and it was just like it just washed over me man and it was like it was like, wow, fuck, they fucking did it. They did it, man. That's how I felt about it. It's kind of like what I said about the game before it before it came out. What I said was, is if it's half as fun, if it's half as fun as these mixed reality videos make it seem, it's a freaking smash hit, in my opinion. 
And not only was it half as fun, it was all the way there. It was 100% fun, just incredible. So this was the very first day, right? And so I actually had to take off my Oculus Rift headset because tears, you know, liquid was running out of my eyeball. And I'm thinking, man, I don't want to F up my headset with this freaking tears running out of my eye. So I actually, I actually had to take my headset off and kind of like, you know, wipe it away. Now I wasn't emotional crying or anything like that. It was just, it just naturally happened. It was just that goosebump electricity feeling, but it was, it was sustained for such a long period of time. And it was just the music and it was just the environment and just being in there. It was just so freaking perfect. It was just so dialed in that I think it may have hit me stronger than anything I've ever experienced, including Wipeout Omega Collection VR. Um, you know, Wipeout Omega Collection VR is freaking fantastic, incredible. It didn't actually bring tears to my eyes. I don't know why Beat Saber did. And again, I know there's going to be people out there saying, dude, hand over your man card immediately. You have been revoked. You have been ejected. Um, you know, and, and, and I, I totally get that. But that's how I felt that very first time. And so um, and then later that evening, I went back in and, and played it again and had more waterworks. It happened again. It wasn't just isolated to my very, very first experience. Now, here's the thing I got to tell you. I've had this game for a full week now, and I can play any of the songs now, and there's no waterworks. So that that was a, a temporary thing. That was kind of like the initial blast of it all that just blew me the hell away. But it, it hasn't been like that. And, and further, I'll say that it's been a little bit of a roller coaster ride because I was kind of thinking, well, how am I going to talk about this game? Am I going to praise Beat Saber to the high heavens and call it the best thing ever? Um, is it really worth that? Like, is it really doing that much better than what maybe like Audio Shield is doing or Soundboxing or Airtone or any of these other rhythm games in VR? Is it really that much better? Is it like what's so magical about Beat Saber? What is it doing that is just so much better than these others? And I don't know that that's actually true. But what I do believe is that what hyperbolic magnetism was going with this game, what they were looking to do with this game, they fucking nailed it. They absolutely nailed it. Whatever their core vision was, they delivered it. You know, they delivered it. They achieved some magical shit. You know, they, they did it. They made it happen. Is it the best thing since sliced bread? No, it's probably not. And I, I've never played Audio Shield. I, I have to confess, I've never played Audio Shield. I've never played Airtone. I've never played Soundboxing. I'm not a rhythm action guy. The only rhythm action kind of game I've played in VR is Thumper. And I don't even know if Thumper really, really qualifies. I mean, yeah, it's a rhythm action game. I, I don't think you can get away from that, but it's a little bit, it's in a different kind of a style than say Audio Shield, Soundboxing, and Airtone. It's definitely different. And so, you know, I don't know. Is it really that much better? Probably not. And then some people will say, well, there's only 10 songs and it doesn't have the ability to make your own songs. You know, soundboxing, you can make your own songs and all these people have created all these different, uh, d you know, they've, they've taken songs that they like and they've made like a profile for it. You can download their profile and you can connect it to Spotify and all that, you know, there's all these different things that some of these other rhythm action games are doing that Beat Saber isn't doing. And so I could easily see like some hardcore rhythm action fans getting their hands on Beat Saber and thinking, this isn't that freaking great. You know, this isn't doing anything that incredibly special. But maybe, maybe this is the kind of game that appeals more to kind of the casual fan of the genre rather than the diehard. The, the diehard fan of the genre might, might come to think, you know, there's nothing magical about what's going on here and they can play it on expert and they can do it really good on expert and, you know, do it like that. But, but I'm having a ton of fun. So the price of this game is 20 bucks. I did get a code, obviously full disclosure here, but I'm happy that the price is 20 bucks. 
because I can recommend this with no reservations whatsoever at 20 bucks. I can tell you the first day that I got this game, Tuesday, and the next day that I got the game, I mean, and the next day, Wednesday, just me playing that game on Tuesday and Wednesday, that covered 20 bucks right there. Had I paid $20, my $20 was well spent. It already paid dividends. And then I've been playing this game every single day since then. In fact, when I decide to play VR, like if I say, okay, it's time to go into VR, the first game I fire up is Beat Saber every single time. Not only that, okay, do you guys see those speakers over there? Those two tall speakers that you see, those are Energy C8 Towers. They're Connoisseur C8 Towers. They're really good speakers from like the really late 90s, really early 2000s, but still they are bomb ass speakers. Those things can kick. And there's another, there's another two that you don't see that are off camera. They're over there. And I only have two of them hooked up. I have the one with the PlayStation box on top of it. And then there's one over there that's hooked up. And what I've actually done, I've gotten so into Beat Saber that I actually went, I switched my front facing Oculus thing to face in that direction. And I'm using these tower speakers. I'm not using the headphones and I am pumping the music and I'm playing the game. I put my wife in it. I put my kids in it. You know, I've had other people try it and it is, this is a party game extraordinaire. You know, this is gonna be a hit at VR arcades. This thing is gonna be a sensation. I really believe this is an incredible game. Not only that, I've actually reached out to hyperbolic magnetism. I have some interest in doing some type of VR arcade thing. It's something that's kind of been in the back of my mind that I kind of want to do some type of VR arcade thing. And I reached out to them about possibly licensing Beat Saber for some type of VR arcade, you know, exploring it because I can imagine, like I'm thinking of kind of a portable VR arcade thing where I go to people's businesses or school or church or whatever and I set up a, a setup and I've got four of these energy c8 towers i can set up two different setups where the music is pumping and people are playing beat saber i'm a little bit worried about sweat of course you know because this is a workout that's the other thing it's kind of an exercise game this is easily my favorite exercise game no question about it i mean it's up there with like racket nx cyber pong vr you know some of my favorite exercise games spark is a pretty good exercise there's a lot of good exercise games in vr and beat saber is right there because i will get into this game and i'll play a bunch of songs and then after a while you know you start to get you get a little bit tired you need a break you need to uh, drink a bottle of water or something like that and one of the things i was thinking is if i put weights on my wrist you know this could really get you in shape pretty good now the gameplay of the game it's kind of like you're a drummer basically is really what it is you're you're really a drummer you're like kylo ren's a uh, Sith drummer. You're like a badass Sith drummer. And when I'm playing the game, you know, I'm doing this stuff, but it's funny because I'll be playing along and I start dancing as well. And then I start getting like really freaky with it where, you know, I'm smacking the, you know, I'm smacking the different boxes kind of like stylized, you know, like, like I, I need to make a mixed reality video to show you guys, um, how I do it when I'm playing the game. I mean, it probably would look super goofy. Again, if you're not revoking my man card for the waterworks, you'll probably revoke it for a mixed reality video if I was actually able to do that. But um, but man, this game is is really doing it for me. It's not, again, like I said, it's not the best thing since sliced bread. It, it might not, there, there's some people that might not even think this is the best rhythm action game there is because of some of the features that it doesn't feature but but it is freaking dominated my playtime no question about it for the last week and i really don't have any plans to stop playing it anytime soon and and this is my daily exercise this is like an exercise routine i could play beat saber for a 25 minute burst like three different times in a day 
And that's some pretty fucking good exercise. People will say, well, if you're doing that for your exercise, you're not getting real exercise. Well, you know, go ahead, buddy. Run your marathon. Run your half marathon. Do all your your Tybo, Kaibo, or your Zumba, or whatever the hell you're doing. I'm happy for you, bro. But there's a lot of people out there. We don't get a lot of exercise. And if we can get any exercise, it's a good thing. And I believe Beat Saber is some freaking good exercise. I have a lot of fun with it. I've had to bring out some fans because it's gotten a lot warmer here in Sacramento. So I've had to bring out some fans and all of that. But I'm just having an absolute blast with this game. And so uh, that's basically pretty much all I got to say about Beat Saber. Just an incredible, awesome game. If, if you have any interest whatsoever whatsoever in rhythm action games, I think you got to check this game out. You know, it's not universally loved, though, because I'll tell you what, the VR Roundtable guys, we've all played this. Steve really likes it, but Gary, Gary has said that he just hasn't gotten into this game. I don't know if he's kind of like tired of rhythm action games and it's kind of like he's had too many of them and he's just not into it, but Gary wasn't into it. So this game is not going to appeal to every single person out there, but it really freaking came through as far as I was concerned and it delivered in spades. I think this, um, you know, I'm not going to say this is one of the 20 best VR games period. It's one of my 20 best, but I can't say that it's like should be one of everybody's 20 best, but I think it's in the top 50. I think there's no question about that. This game is one of the 50 best VR games that are available on any platform, any genre, period, dot. You know, that's my take on Beat Saber. Okay, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. I know I rambled forever on a single game, but, you know, sometimes I got to do that. So anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Later.